One common explanation for why we can't travel faster than the speed of light is that the mass of objects becomes infinitely large. However, a better explanation involves the concept of spacetime, where space and time are unified into a single entity. In this model, every object travels through spacetime at the speed of light, even if it appears to be stationary, as it is moving through time and not space. Albert Einstein is often considered one of the most influential scientists of all time, with brilliant insights about the laws of nature. However, his work has one very disappointing consequence, especially for science buffs who hope one day to travel to distant stars. His theory demonstrated that there is a fastest speed in the universe, the speed of light. That means the shortest possible round trip to the nearest star will take nearly a decade. But just how does that work? Even the most informed science enthusiasts often have a wrong, or at least incomplete, understanding of why you can't go faster than light. This ultimate speed limit is a curious fact, and one that runs quite against our common intuition. The most common explanation for this cosmic speed limit is that as an object goes faster and faster, its mass increases. And this explanation makes some sense. After all, it's harder to push a mountain than a pebble. If the mass of objects become infinite as they get closer to the speed of light, it makes sense that you cannot break that speed barrier. It would take infinite energy to accomplish. To understand the real reason why you cannot go faster than light requires that we learn a key idea from Einstein's theory. While our common experience tells us that space and time are different things, he realized that they are more similar than different. Instead of space and time, there is a single thing called space-time. 